Hello, I'm Haider Hasna Romiza, as a representative of Diponegoro University, and today I'm going to talk about Asian climate action, pathway to sustainability and resilience. Asian climate action as a pathway to sustainability and resilience is an important thing to succeed the goal of SDGs 12, which is responsible consumption and production, and SDGs 13, which is climate action. As a public health student, my vision through this team is quite complex and extensive. The impacts caused by climate change as the result of massive consumption and production that produce a very big amount of carbon dioxide emission is big in every country. Based on Asian State of Climate Change Report 2050, Southeast Asia is one of the most at-risk regions in the world due to the impacts on climate change. A number of disasters are experienced by Asian countries every year with significant economic and human losses. A total of approximately 30,000 deaths resulted from natural hazards and estimated 200 million people were affected during 2009 until 2020. So, the climate change and adaptation goals of Asian countries are closely linked with their developmental goals. This makes it important to have awareness of the developmental context of the region as it will help inform on their climate change needs and action. Climate change, especially in Southeast Asia, severely affects a lot of people because nowadays, disasters that happen in each country of Southeast Asia are commonly related to the climate change. The real challenge is after the disaster, third from the lack of nutritious food and clean water supply that will lead to the decrease of people's health degrees such as the spread of infectious disease. This is very impactful in every sector of life including environment, social economy, food security, and health, especially disease outbreak. The country and its people should raise awareness related to climate change to build the climate action as a way to sustain and resilience through this problem. Food security means the ability of people to access enough, safe, and nutritious food to meet their dietary needs and preferences. The enough amount of nutritious food and clean water supply is a primary need for human beings in this climate change era. The lack of nutritious foods can lead to the decrease of health degree such as malnutrition that may increase the risk of illness among people physically and psychologically. One of the physical disease outbreaks is dengue fever that is infected by mosquitoes as a factor and the psychological outbreaks is anxiety disorder. Anxiety disorder makes people worry about how they will survive each day in the midst of climate change. When this outbreak happens, it means that the country fails to maintain the health of its people. Hence, Maintaining the accessibility of nutritious food when the disaster occurs due to climate change is the responsibility of every government. The government has an authority to sustain the distribution of nutritious food by various actions such as improving facilities and infrastructure for distribution efficiency and eliminating local regulation that hinder interregional food distribution. The less price of the distribution process the easier distribution will be. In order to prepare for the various disasters caused by climate change, every country should have mitigation such as forest conservation, building placement, infrastructure development, and spatial factors. Besides developing a strong environment and infrastructure, it is also important to build a resilient community through community service to maintain and preserve the environment due to climate change. 